Hello guys, what is up and welcome to yet another episode of Batman Arkham City and guys I gotta say we are so close to the end of this let's play y'all because I just edited the last episode of the let's play itself today and I mean yeah I'm probably gonna be filming like four episodes of this on its own like in one night like the same night as I'm recording this one but uh yeah we are coming up on my favorite boss fight in the whole game right here in the whole Arkham franchise one of my favorite boss fights of all time and uh, it's for a great great reason y'all I know I said that about the Ra's al Ghul boss fight literally two episodes ago but trust me y'all this boss fight is the best boss fight you'll ever fight and I'll shut up for the cutscene That's right, yo, this is the Mr. Freeze boss fight right here. Now, I know I've said this before, but I'm just going to go ahead and repeat myself since I'm actually on the episode where I fight him now. Uh, basically, the reason this is a really great boss fight in itself is because it utilizes so many different techniques that you've already learned from within the game and essentially combines them into one boss fight in itself and you get stuck in this small area utilizing your different like weapons and techniques and just different like takedown mechanics stuff like that and i mean yeah it's it's a really fun boss fight it it lasts a while and like this whole episode is literally just this fight but uh yeah and one thing i gotta say is like mr freeze he was that one guy who like before uh batman the animated series absolutely no one cared about his character then they came out with that fire episode for him and they gave him a backstory and everything like before that episode came out back in Admi batman the animated series it mr freeze was just some guy with a freeze ray who didn't have any actual character to him. He was literally just a guy in a suit with a freeze ray. And, like, he didn't have nothing to him other than that. So, like, he was just another obstacle in Batman's way rather than a humanized character with reason and motive behind his actions. But ever since that episode came out, he's been known for, like not he's not evil he's just broken and like i feel like that's another that's like a really uh fun concept to play around with especially in modern media and uh I, like i think they do it really well with mr freeze because uh when it comes to him it base i think it has something to do with like he wants to save his wife and in the process like ends up doing that to himself where he can only survive in cold conditions like that and I mean, yeah, uh, even in this game, like, I find it sad that, like, uh, rescuing his wife from Joker is reduced to a side mission, even though Mr. Freeze himself plays a large, crucial p 
part in the plot. And is, uh, like... Uh, how do I describe it? Like, I think you guys know where I'm getting with this. But, uh... Like, is, uh... Because it's like I said, like, he's a crucial part to the plot. And then... Uh, like... It, I don't know... Then, like, this whole fight revolves around the fact, like, his motive is that he wants his wife back. That's kind of what I'm getting at. It's simplified, in a nutshell. I, for, I forget what I was going to say completely, but, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm getting at. Is like, his character revolves around, like, his wife's life and all that. And, like, you know, like, with him being a major part of the plot, you would think they give him more recognition by making it more than just an optional side mission. And, you know, I, I feel like that's what they should have done. In all honesty, like, they could, they did my boy wrong. Broken, not evil. Because for real, man, they did my boy wrong here. But, uh, yeah, you'll notice, like, they have all these different things around the map and stuff. This is all for, um, like, actually beating him. And they leave it up to you, like, whatever is easiest for you. Like, what you want to utilize to beat him. And that's, it's, the thing I like about this boss fight is, like, it's just that good that you can actually, like, Like, do whatever you want and still beat him, basically. Like, you can go under the floor grates to beat him. Of course, that's up to you luring him over there. Uh, if you can get him under you and then you stand on top of that glass, you can uh, take him down from above. These, like, electric things that you see around the map. You kind of, like, utilize those to, like... Lure, lure him in magnetically. You can also drop attack him. Uh, yeah, it, there's so many different creative ways to actually, like, kill him. Basically, not kill him, because like he doesn't die. But uh, like you, you guys know what I mean. Like beat him, beat his ass. And you guys are going to see right here. This is what I do. It's going to happen literally any second now, yo. When this guy moves, that's when it's going to happen. And there you go. There you go. I think Oracle, aka Barbara Gordon, actually like even mentions Batman losing to Mr. Freeze because of how genuinely powerful he is. So like he's physically strong. Don't like don't underestimate this guy is what they're saying. Cause like it's like I said, like before Batman the animated series, he was like clowned upon as a character in general and like now he is genuinely one of the greatest batman villains ever bro
I'd say, like, calling him one of the greatest comic book villains ever, that's a bit, that's a bit of a reach, but he is on, he's a really good villain, no matter how you actually look at it, like, he's a great villain, especially for Batman's rogues gallery, because Batman has to use his IQ against this guy, he can't just go brute strength, because this guy has, I mean, if this dude can make a suit that keeps him alive in sub-zero temperatures, this guy can create some pretty powerful weapons, is what I'm getting at, so it's like, you can't just go brute strength against him, you genuinely have to like, like, outsmart this guy. But yeah, I think those were the other two ways that I actually used to get him, was I just did, I lured him under there and used the takedown, and then I used the drop attack. So, uh, yeah, I, I went pretty basic with it, and just did exactly that. I don't know if you can, like, sneak up on him, though. I wonder. I wonder if you can, like, sneak up on him. I would assume you can. Like, stealth attack. Like, I, I don't know if you can do that, but, like, I would assume you can. Just because it's a commonly used, like, thing. But uh, yeah, if you, if you click the little like back key, back computer analysis thing, it actually tells you like the ways you can uh, beat his ass basically. <laughs> and there's the one I used right there. That was takedown. <laughs> that was kind of my problem too. Is I was like dead set on using the ones that would have been easiest for me, and I probably could have beat this a lot faster. But instead, it ended up becoming a whole episode. Of course, it's not, you don't get him three times like all the other bosses in this game. You get him four times because they knew this was a great boss fight. So they just kept it going as long as they could because they knew the audience, they were going to eat this shit up. And man, I ate this shit up and I left no freaking crumbs, bro. No crumbs. I think, like, another really easy way to get him is to go under the floor grates. That one's, like, a really obvious one. Uh, I used just all the stuff that was easiest for me. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's essentially what I did. I think I tried using the floor grates and, I like, it didn't work out is what happened. Either that or I just beat his ass right here. I don't know. I forget completely, but, like... Yeah, I thought I used, like, the drop attack to get him, but I, I guess not. Or no, that was the third time. So, so I was wrong. That was the third time. Now we're on the fourth time, and yeah, I used the drop attack as, like, my final method of actually getting him.
The reason I like know all that already is basically. <coughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, forgive me for the cough there, but, uh, yeah, basically because, uh, like, I, I record these from my PS5, upload them to YouTube from my PS5, and proceed to voice over them from the already uploaded YouTube video. And, uh, I voiced over them from my phone, so, you know, sometimes you guys will see, like, a notification or something pop up. That's because I voice over these from my phone. And they're uploaded from my PS5. So, I don't, I don't use, like, a capture card or nothing. I actually, like, you know, like, I, I actually record these from my PS5 upload these from my PS5 and then send them to YouTube. And then I voice over it from YouTube and that's the final thing that's what you guys are watching. That's why when I say like I have a let's play finished you guys know I got a let's play finished and I got a let's play coming for y'all. So like a lot of the ones that I've promised y'all, yeah, it's coming. Might not be for a while, but they're coming. I remember promising y'all back during the Arkham Asylum Let's Play that I was going to be coming with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And now look where we're at, baby. Now look where we're at. About to start Arkham Knight and Call of Duty Black Ops 3, baby. I don't know, because, like, at first I was going to do the uh, Catwoman epilogue, but I decided to just not because it would be easier and it would save me the time. And, yeah, so you guys won't, unfortunately, be seeing the Catwoman epilogue for this game. If you guys don't know, the Catwoman epilogue is, like, a little, like, side story wrapping up Catwoman story in this. It's not DLC or nothing. It's just... Um, it's just a wrapping up to the story, but like by that time the story's already over, and I feel like like it's not even that good. It gives you like a small little cutscene and what is technically considered a boss fight, but it's just running up to Two Face and hitting him in the face a bunch of times, and like y there's no there's nothing actually, like it's it's just an epilogue. So I decided to not, you know. But, uh, yeah, I believe this is going to be the end of the Mr. Freeze boss fight. Just punch him in the face a few times, crack his thingy open. And I'll shut up for the cutscene.
Anyways, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for this episode. Uh, 